go. <laughs> All right, I'll talk about the bed a little bit tonight. Um, come around here, babe. The stock Chevy bed floor that I narrowed up to, to get the look that I wanted. I didn't want the full width. I wanted to make it look kind of like a rock truck, um, but a little more useful than a rock truck. Anyway, stock bed, bed floor. Um, and then I built the bed sides, headache rack. Can you get all that stuff? The headache rack. Um, and basically it bolts to the, the bottom of the bed floor bolts to the, uh, the new framework that I built. Um, cut down the stock fender wells, pounded out the, the, old, the tops of the fenders flat and welded them back into place. Um, the gas filler is on this side over here. Can you get around to the side there and, and catch the, the cap? Cool. You can see the aluminum trim and it's a marine gas filler. And that goes underneath the truck to a 30 gallon or a 32 gallon fuel cell. Can you get them in there? I built a stout cage around the fuel cell that the cage could basically hold the truck up if it had to and protect the fuel cell and then the chrome oil filter you gotta ha or a fuel filter you gotta have a chrome fuel filter um, the sides are everything is pretty much used material I think I've got like $22 in welding rod 7018 uh, 330 second welding rod and a lot of money in a, oh a bed liner, spray on bed liner. Um, but uh, these pipes were stuff that I had laying around on my dad's farm. Um, the sides are eighth inch steel. I have uh, a relative that has access to a, a plasma table. So I got the dimensions and he cut these out for me. Um, he cut out the Geb bill. He cut out my grenade here with a bottle opener that's what that cutout is and then I backed it with uh, aluminum on in both, uh, both cases there um, in the back here I got a Craig Roof special low profile toolbox that I narrowed up to fit inside and did probably the crappiest aluminum TIG welding job on earth um, some of my TIG, aluminum TIG turns out great, some of it doesn't. This is one of the cases that it didn't. So if you have any insight on TIG welding aluminum, I could probably use some help. Uh, mounted the high lift jack to the framework underneath the toolbox. Every good 4x4 has to have a high lift jack. Um, little thumb screws looking things. Came from, I'm not sure, I scrounged them from somewhere, uh, but they work. I think they look cool. Um, got the bumper on yesterday. I showed you in that video. Back up, buddy. Thank you, sir. Uh, need to get it wired up. My eBay LED tail and brake lights. My eBay LED uh, reverse lights. Um, some clevis for tow hooks. Uh, eBay seven-way trailer uh, uh, lighting connector. Um, these are the hinges for the tailgate that I don't have done yet. Um, turned out good. I like it. Uh, anyway, that's the bed. If you have any questions, uh, comment on the right, channel. Here's the tailgate that I need to finish up. It's a good heavy tailgate. Um, these are the three uh, nut boxes that are welded on. Hi, buddy. Where I used to have the high lift jack mounted, but uh, I'm going to end up mounting the spare tire back here. Yes, son. Um, the other, the uh, male end of the hinges, I got grease zerts. And I might have to show you some other time the, the grease things that I built. Uh, these spaces will get filled. With some Swiss cheese, eighth inch steel, 
should look pretty cool. Basically this tailgate, I have it so it stops and lays flat and then it goes all the way up and matches the contour of the bed uh, which angles forward. So we got some welding to do. Gotta grind a little bit on some of these welds. I know, I know. Grinding your welds to make them look good makes you a grinder. I'm not saying I'm a horrible welder because most of my welds turn out great, but on occasion I don't know what it is. If it's the metal, I'd love to blame it on the metal, but uh, sometimes I think it's my concentration and uh, the way I'm holding my tongue at the time. Anyway, here's the hinge pin. This is probably just going to be a prototype because uh, I don't like the look of it. I'll probably use a socket head or Allen head uh, uh, cap screw um, and double nut. Uh, so it can pivot on there, but I spiral cut a very light spiral groove on two sides of the the uh, pivot bolt So when you fill it with grease it has a little place for the grease to go um, Just a little Trick I guess that I've noticed over the years different pieces of machinery have had stuff like that So that's what I'm doing. Ooh, that probably hurt you right, Kip? <laughs> anyway, uh, my what I use for a stick welder, little Lincoln Electric 110 unit. It does a heck of a good job. You sure wouldn't think it would, but it does. And then I've got the Miller 180, uh, what's that thing called? The Diversion 180 for my TIG unit. Uh, both of them work really well. I wouldn't mind adding to my fleet of welders someday. But it'll probably be a little while. Um, got a auto darkening helmet for when I TIG mostly. Um, then I like to use my old school uh, dark lens for when I'm stick welding. And that's all I got for today.